Hello everyone, this is Kelly at the Inky Gnome for Miss Ink Stamps. And today I'm going to share hard with this floral image from the Brutiful stamp set. This is the smaller um, floral image in the set. There's also a much larger floral bunch and they kind of reminded me of poinsettias. I know that the, these are coffee flowers um, from the Brutiful coffee set and they're traditionally they're a white flower um and then the coffee beans are kind of like a reddish brown or green but it looking at them it kind of reminded me of a poinsettia and this time of year after the holidays the first thing that I think of is thank you cards and birthday cards because there's a lot of thank yous to give out um, so I like to kind of do some that are still a little bit wintry or Christmassy, um, but that are a thank you card rather than a holiday card. So that was my initial idea with uh, doing this card. So I've just stamped the smaller floral image and I'm just using some mini distress inks smushed on my mat with a, um, small watercolor brush and water just to pick up the ink to watercolor with to do this and I wanted to focus a few videos on different ways to use your stencils so I'm just col coloring this to use as a accent on my card a little focal point in the front um, but I want to show some different ways to uh, use stencils to get more out of them and to do things that maybe you don't um, automatically pick them up to do like just blending with ink on a light colored cardstock so today I'm going to use a dark colored cardstock um, to stencil on top of so I'm using some black cardstock here and I'm using the lumberjack plaid uh, stencil which I love I love a good plaid and with black or really dark cardstocks, you can use um, embossing ink and powder. You can use different types of glaze or glitter. Um, I'm using some lunar paste here in a red. Um, so it, against a dark or black cardstock, it just shows up really beautifully. And it's a really st stunning effect just just using, um, you know, that one color with the dark background, it looks beautiful. So I'm just going to make sure that I've got every single little space that plaid has the open squares and also the little diagonally cut um, ones to look like a kind of gradient plaid there. So I just want to make sure I have that in every single spot before picking it up. And then I try to save some scraping it off and put it back in. And I've got my black card front here. I did a few layers with uh, white and red cardstock to put on my stenciled piece on front. I'm just going to adhere that right in the middle and you'll see it looks so pretty just with the red and black. Um, the red glaze against that black, it looks so beautiful. And I don't want to cover it up too much because I really want that part to show so I'm just doing a big panel of that and cut out my image and sentiment to just add a little bit of interest to the front I'm just gonna pop up my coffee flowers in the corner there and I cut out the sentiment from the thank you very much set and I'm gonna pop that up on the bottom there and I've got a great little thank you card for Christmas gifts from Christmas I hope you all had a wonderful holiday and a happy new year. And I can't wait to see what you do with your stencils on some dark backgrounds. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.